So welcome today to Max's Minutes. Today we're going to show you how to build a healthy plate. And we build a healthy plate by balancing all of your macronutrients. So that's going to be your protein, things like carbohydrates, right? And things like healthy fat. So we're going to show you how to build a balanced plate by making Max lunch. So come with us. We're going to put his lunch together. We're going to have fun today. So why don't you do me a favor, bud? Why don't you grab me um, some fruit, whatever you want to have. So look in the fridge and you can grab on the right drawer there. There's a pear or there is um, an apple. You want strawberries today? All right. Thank you. Eat them if they're fresh. Why don't you see if they're fresh? Fresh. Is that a pretty good strawberry? Like candy. All right. You think they all? It is like candy. It's kind of like nature's candy, isn't it? So when you're looking at a balanced plate, you want to start off with your protein. That is the number one thing you want to look for, okay? Because that is really what's going to give you energy throughout the day. In addition to our protein, we want to make sure that you have a good source of carbohydrates. So again, that could be fruits, vegetables, it could be things that come from grains. So it could be your bread, it could be brown rice, um, it could be crackers. We're going to focus on our fruits and vegetables today just to show you how much Max likes his fruits and vegetables. So Bud, what would you say are some of your favorite vegetables that you like to have for lunch? Edamame. Do you want to have that for lunch today? I've got some right over there. Okay. Want to go grab that? So Max loves edamame. Edamame is actually a soybean and this is the soy pod and the beans inside. So give a quick example of how you eat a, uh, edamame. So it's really fun for kids because they can just take the edamame and slide the beans right out. Sometimes they pop on the floor, you never know. Find them maybe a month later. And you know what, we are going to add a healthy fat to this mix too. Even though avocado, is this a fruit or a vegetable? Fruit. It's a fruit. A lot of people aren't really sure what an avocado is, but it is a fruit. But it's also an incredible source of fat. So don't be afraid of fats because you need them in your diet. But you just kind of have to watch your portions a little bit. But fortunately, Max loves avocado. So we are going to slice a few pieces of avocado here. So you can just kind of cut the avocado like this, and about half an avocado is pretty much all you need for someone Max's size. So this, then, you kind of have your balanced plate. So you've got about a quarter of your plate dedicated to your protein. You've got about a quarter of your plate dedicated to your starch. And the rest of your plate is going to be your fruits and vegetables and healthy fats. Um. So what can we add here that I know you like that, again, would kind of be a little special treat that we do in moderation? All right, looking for those condiments. So you know what, parents, it's okay to use condiments uh, with your kids' foods. If it encourages them to eat more vegetables or to maybe get through their protein, I'm fine with that as long as you watch their portions. And when we get to the point where we're reading labels, we'll show you what kind of con condiments are the best to buy that don't have a lot of added fillers and stuff. So we just try and do a little bit of ranch. Max likes those with his chicken nuggets. And we'll do a teeny bit of ketchup right here. How's that? or wherever you want to put that. Right by the strawberries is usually a good addition. <laughs> we got a pretty healthy lunch here, wouldn't you say? We've got our protein, we've got our fruits and vegetables, we've got tater tots. we don't tots. have a very, very healthy thing. Why? What's, what's not so healthy? No, a very healthy thing that we don't have in my lunch. What is that? Water. Good point, buddy. Why don't you go get some of that? So what is so great about cooking lunch with your kids or putting a meal together with your kids is they get to engage in the process and you can ask them, what do you want for lunch? What do you want me to put in your lunch for school? Because you got to pick some of your favorite foods and put them in your lunch today, right? Voila. Were you hungry? So parents are always asking me, well, what should I put in my kids' lunch? And really, the lunch that I just prepared for Max uh, at home is just as easy to prepare for them to bring to school. So again, we want to remember the balanced plate. So you got to have your protein and your carbohydrates. And we're going to really look at this lunch right here. And what I've done is I've made a turkey sandwich. Better to go whole wheat than white. So focus on brown versus white. We've got the fruit. And if you get, again, we're dividing this area up into halves. So we've got your protein and your starch. We've got your fruits and vegetables. And we've got a little crunchy snack there for a little treat. So bud, what do we make and that you love to have in your lunch? It's a little bit of a vegetable. And it's not a lot. And we like these, right? You just grab some celery. You spread on a little low-fat cream cheese. 
And then what do we put on it that makes it super, super yummy? I'll do it. You want to put on the raisins? Raisins. I like it. And again, it's fun for the kids to make. They can engage in the process, and when they open up their lunch at school, they can tell their friends, hey, look what I made. And so we stick that in here, and you'll see, we've got some color, we've got our good healthy protein, we've got our good whole grain starches, we've got half plate fruits and vegetables, we've got a little bit of fat in there, and we've got a little crunchy treat. Awesome. Sorry! Lunch for school. All right, so we've got a healthy lunch. So next time we're going to talk about C, and we're going to talk about cravings, and how you can find healthy substitutes for things like sugar and salt. So until next time. That's out.